Now this is the 308i keyboard from AJS. It's an 84 keys compact keyboard for people who doesn't really have like too much space on their desk, which is also the reason why I bought this keyboard too, since my current keyboard is taking too much space on my table. But there's one thing that you really need to take note though. This keyboard doesn't have any numpads. Usually compact keyboards like this, they only have the arrow keys here and the numpads located here at the top. So if you're the kind of user who uses a numpad a lot, then this keyboard is definitely not for you. You can always choose the 100 keys keyboard, but I think this brand is not selling that one. Okay, so there's really nothing much to see on the box. It's just indicated here the features, which is the round key cap design and a stable Bluetooth connection, which is, it really depends on where you put the Bluetooth dangle. It doesn't have any power switch, but it has a smart power saving, which they indicated that it will turn off automatically 15 minutes after when it's not in use. Now, this is not a mechanical keyboard, so it's quiet when the 10 meter wireless transmission and long standby time. Now, the size of this keyboard is 320 by 137 and 30.5 mm. Now, the switch life, as indicated here in the box, is 10 million times. Now, for the battery, this keyboard is using two AAA batteries, which is pretty good. I really preferred um, AAA batteries or AA batteries instead of lithium batteries which you have to charge over USB-C because it's gonna add more wires to your stuff. At least if they are just AAA batteries then you can simply replace them. Now this keyboard works with iOS, Windows, and Android. Now we're gonna test out the Android stuff. We cannot test the iOS though since I don't have any iPads or iPhones here. What we can test though is the Windows and the Android. Now at the online store it's available of three colors. It has a white, a pink, and the black one which is not exactly black but it's more in dark gray it has a different color for the escape and the enter button here which i think it's much more expensive than the pink and the white because this the black version have a three-tone color now be sure to read the manual as there are very simple instructions there on how to connect your keyboard on your bluetooth now in order to connect this to your pc let's put on some batteries first it needs two AAA batteries and let's try to pair first with our Bluetooth jungle. If your PC or your laptop doesn't support like any built-in Bluetooth, then you definitely need to buy a Bluetooth jungle. Now this costs about 250 to 500 pesos I think. It depends on the brand. Now after that, once your computer or your laptop have a Bluetooth, you will see this icon here and you click that icon. Now, before you do that, you have to set the keyboard into a pairing mode, which is in order to go to pairing mode, you need to press the FN and hold it and press C. Then the battery indicator will be blinking slowly for about one blink per second. And that means that it's now in pairing mode. Now let's go to our PC and laptop and add a Bluetooth device. Uh, so we've searched for a device and let's find an AJS keyboard, which is this one. Let's connect it to the keyboard and that's about it. It's simple as that. Now the keyboard is now connected and it's ready to use. All right, so now we are gonna test it. Then let's see if it's comfortable enough. Also, we just need to check on the inputs of the keyboard and how accurate it is.
All right, so that's done. As you can hear or see, it's not really that loud. Now, adjusting to the round keycaps wasn't really a big deal. Now, for the keyboard layouts, there wasn't really much big difference on the keyboard layouts, even if it's round keycaps. I was able to adjust from my Logitech keyboard to this new HS keyboard. Now, the main features of this keyboard are it's compact. It has F and key features for Android, Windows, and iOS. And the main reason why I bought this is because of its wireless Bluetooth. Now for the cons, well, the keys are not really that soft, or I'm just really used to my mechanical Logitech keyboard, which is very soft. There's really not much pressure you need to put when you want to press a key on this keyboard here. You need to get used to it, but it's not really a big issue. It doesn't have any on and off button, so you have to like wait for 15 minutes for it to save batteries and it doesn't have any led lights now this is just a preference but for me i actually really prefer keyboards with lights it's very useful during night especially for me i usually work at night time and that will make it easier for me to find the correct keys especially on a very dark room now for your bluetooth dangle a little tip here be sure to put the dongle at the front of the cpu and not at the back since I've encountered a lot of problems using this kind of Bluetooth devices when I put the dongle at the back of the CPU. Even though it's really close and Bluetooth don't really need a line of sight to be connected, I really prefer it to be in an open space rather than cramped there at the back of the CPU. From my experience, the connection of those devices are usually bad. Let me know down on the comments below if you've also experienced this on your Bluetooth devices. All right, so I think that's about it, guys. So if you like this product, you can find the product on the link below. It's an affiliate link, so I'll get a bit of commission if you're gonna buy that one. Be sure to hit that like button if you like this video. And if you want to support my channel, you can always press the subscribe button down below. I'll be making another video pretty soon for a very silent mouse. Uh, be sure to check that out. Thanks again for watching. I'm Kuya Buzz, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.